Once the machine is removed from the box, the vacuum cleaner will then need to be assembled. Place the base of the machine on the floor and attach the body. Lock together with the locking catch. Fit extension tube and hose. Wind the cable onto the cable hooks. The machine is now ready for use. Brush roller height can be adjusted for carpet type using the pile adjustment knob. Machine is switched on with the switch located on the front of the machine. Release foot pedal to activate the brush roller. Green light will illuminate on the base of the machine. When using the machine, try to move your body rather than just arm movements to reduce fatigue. The machine picks up to the edge on the right hand side only. For awkward places and high level, use the extension tube by detaching from the machine using the handle. Vacuum bag replacement. Remove the bag door. Remove full bag by releasing catch on top left hand side of the bag, pull down and away. Seal the top of the bag with the sealing flap. Insert new bag, locating on the top right, pushing into place over the inlet tube and locating in the sprung catch on the top left. Pre-motor filter, located under the vacuum bag. Remove by lifting slightly and pulling out. Clean or replace. Push back into the guides. Exhaust filter, located at the top right hand side of the vacuum bag. Slide out. Clean or replace. Slide back in. Brush strip replacement. Press release clip on base and remove the end cap. Twist roller until brush strip is aligned with the exit aperture. Slide the brush out. Push in new brush. And push the end cap back in place. Red light illuminates on base of machine. If this illuminates, it means the brush roller is jammed or the brush is worn out. If the machine loses suction and the bag full indicator shows full, but the bag is not full, you have a blockage. All parts of the dust path can be accessed without the need for any tools. Starting at the top, squeeze the hose clip and pull out the hose from the machine body. Look down to check for obstruction. Next, remove extension tube and check for obstruction. Unlock base from body by twisting the catch to the unlock position. Pull body off the base. Look down the neck of the base to the trap door on the underside of the base, then from the trap door to the roller. This is the complete dust path. Reassemble in reverse order.